what is our fourth main topic today? Fourth main topic, Rick Bickmore. By the time your show starts, the first trailer for John Wick 4 will have dropped. I hope the crew gets a chance to see it before the show so you can all share your thoughts. Bring on the filthy. I saw it. It looks like a really good time. Like, I'm pumped to see it. It looks fun. What do you guys think? It's it's outstanding. Yeah. It's outstanding. I, I thought it was perfect. You know what it is? It is. To me, it's getting more into the reverence of that world. Like, I really enjoyed John Wick 3. Like, I mean, you guys saw my review of it. I, I really had a blast with that movie. But there, there were a couple of things I took nitpicky issues with. Like, they, sometimes it got a little bit silly. They contrived the mythology that they built up in part one, especially a little bit. You know, like, the guy in the middle of the desert part was uh, whatever. This one... And again, we're just talking about a trailer, but it feels like they're reinstituting that reverence for what the table is. There's a seriousness to it as well, right? And there also seems to be this sense of, one of the things that has driven me crazy about John Wick 2 and 3 is the fact that in the first John Wick, and we were talking about this in the office the other day, in the first John Wick, John Wick is... Well, I don't even know if he is the Baba Yaga. Or if he's the guy... No, he's the guy you send to kill right. the Baba Yaga, Right. <laughs> He's like, he's the guy that when a Russian mafia member finds out that somebody saw the stuff, well, you tell me who it was, it was John Wick. Oh, like that's what the name John Wick does. That even in the biggest of baddies, the name of John Wick instills instant pause and fear. When we got into John Wick 2 and 3, as much fun as I had, and I love John Wick 3, especially, I really do. But one of the things that I didn't like was the fact that nobody seems to care it's John Wick anymore. <laughs> nobody cares. Like, every two-bit assassin is like, oh, go after John Wick? Sure, I'll do that. <laughs> Whereas in part one, if somebody had gone up, like, I feel like if, if we had gone back to John Wick part one and they had added a scene where, you know, somebody went to a hitman and said, I'll pay $10 million for you to kill somebody. Sure, I'll do it. Who? John Wick. F you. No way. I want to live. Like, that's what it would. Whereas in this one, like, every two-bit thug on a street corner with a cell phone goes, oh, hit on John Wick. Okay, I'll go hunting John Wick. La, 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 la. That fear, that that epicness of who and what he is and his reputation was gone. And I get a sense from this trailer, a little bit of that might be back. And that excites me. Not to mention the cast. Yeah. yeah, Bill Skarsgård, pumped. Well, I mean, Scar, you're you're talking about Donnie Yen. You're talking about oh, why why am I freezing on his uh, name? He was just in Bullet Train. Uh, yeah, I'm forgetting name. his name at this point, but he looks like one of the heads of the table as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I'll look it up. Uh, Hiro Hiro uh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, but I'm forgetting his last name. Why yeah, am I yeah. freezing anyway? At any point, you you look at this cast that they've lined up, and it's like this feels like. Hiroyuki Sanada. Sanada, yeah, Sanada, thank you. Right. This looks like the movie that John Wick Part 1 was building up to. Whereas as much as I had a blast with Part 3, Part 3 didn't feel like the movie John Wick 1 was building up to, even though I completely loved it. But this looks fantastic. I love that conversation between, I think it was Donnie Yen in the church with John Wick. Do you think he should hear you? No. Then why do you do it? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, you're going to die. Maybe I won't. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that that whole, I'm going to go see this movie just for that scene. Just for that scene, I'm going to go see it. I am beyond stoked for this thing. Hey, guys, we want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens. Now, I started taking Athletic Greens because I don't eat enough vegetables, and I was looking for a way to make up for that deficit in my diet of those vitamins and minerals that I really need in my system, and thank goodness I found Athletic Greens, and I literally take it every morning. You see, with one scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole foods, source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptive to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, all the things. And my wife got onto it, and now she absolutely loves it. You know, tons of people take some kind of multivitamin, and it's important to choose one with high-quality ingredients that your body will actually absorb, like Athletic Greens. So right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with a convenient daily nutrition
condition, especially heading into the flu and cold season. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash campia. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash campia to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Anyway, Rob, you had a chance to see the trailer for John Wick Chapter 4. What did you think? Well, it was funny because when it popped up, every morning I have like a morning ritual. I get up, I feed the dogs, I make coffee, and I turn on YouTube. And for whatever reason, the first thing that pops up usually is any new trailers, you know, and this trailer popped up with, um, with, uh, it wasn't John Wick 4, but then when the John Wick 4 was down, it looked like it was some bogus, it wasn't from a normal site. And I, I was like, is this a fan trailer? Cause I hate that. But I, I clicked on it anyway, and I'm like, oh, no, no. This is <laughs> this is the John Wick trailer. <laughs> and, no, no, no. It wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't a fake trailer. It wasn't a fake trailer. I watched this trailer four times in a row. I mean, I first of all, I, I absolutely echo your sentiment about in John Wick 2 and 3, it seems like there's a, a, an, a world's greatest assassin everywhere you turn. And that nobody was scared of him. And the, the whole point is that there's just not that many of them. And now that John Wick has probably killed them all, there shouldn't be any left. I mean, compared to what happened in yeah. John Wick 2 and 3. Like, there's nobody. The Continental has nobody to book any rooms in here. Because he's, <laughs> he's killed them all. It's all babies. And, 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 it's yeah, all I mean, it's, it's just, it's like. Baby I, And I didn't like that. Because in the first movie, it wasn't people from the Continental necessarily going after John Wick. It was a Russian mobster. And his son was the one who ran afoul of, uh, even though there was people sent into the Continental. But this movie, I'm like, what are they going to, I was like, what are they going to do? How am I going to care? Because we already know John Wick can kill everybody. I really like the idea that somebody thinks he's better than John Wick. I was waiting for Taylor to start singing. Somebody. Yeah, I did it. Oh, oh my God. God. I, I did it in that my was, mind. I, that I knew plot, that was coming. But that plot point, it's not a spoiler. It's in the trailer. I love this idea. I love this idea that we're now going into the upper echelons of the table. So wait, you know, so in the trailer, that guy is supposed to be better than John Wick? I don't know who, which... The, uh, the guy at the table where he was sitting in front the of The younger right? guy, I, I guess. I don't know if it's him or if it's yeah. supposed to be Sonata or if it's supposed to be Donnie Yen. Yeah, I don't know who it is, but somebody wants to fight him one-on-one. -on -one. And he's supposedly better than John Wick from what everyone well, I don't thinks. Know, the guy I, 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 got is, a I got a feeling he's probably a member of the table. Yeah, too. probably a member of the table. And now we find out he might have familial members at the table that we didn't know about. Yeah, that they sound, looked like he maybe didn't even know about. He, yeah, that he didn't know about. I'm like, I don't care. This movie looks dope. Yep. I, I can't wait to see it. Yep. I kept watching the trailer, the action scenes, that one scene where the cars are skinny. He's like, <coughs> I mean, come on. What dude. about what about the Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade thing? You see the four horseback. Oh and my horses, God. And the guy's like, he's like shooting guys I on mean, horses. They're they're like, no one's in getting the middle away. Of the Sahara yeah, Desert. Yeah, no I one's mean, getting they're away. Out of the movie. No one's getting away. Ultimately, <laughs> John, I just don't care. I want to see John Wick shoot dudes in the head. He's very good at it. I will watch this. I want to watch it. I want to buy the disc already. I'm going to play it loud at home. I can't wait for this movie. I'm like, March? I could get hit by a bus by then. Oh. Now, here's... I saw a quote from a, the director. Stop walking in the street. I saw, I saw a headline from a quote from a director of the film who said this. Uh, now, this was the headline, but it said... And I didn't get a chance to read it before the show started, but it said, basically, the director confirms that in the movie, as if I wasn't already excited, that Sonata... And Yen, uh, Donnie Yen fight in this movie. Oh, it shows in the trailer. They do the two of the. I didn't. I didn't. yeah, yeah. It's like a real quick clip. They're like, I must have thought it was yeah. somebody else. And no, I'm no. like, okay, I know I've already said this twice. I would go to the movie just for that yep. scene. I would go to the movie just for the church scene. I would go just to see those two fight on screen. Are you kidding me? This is a fucking wet dream for people who grew up but, 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 watching wait, there, these guys fight on there's screen. There's one glaring thing that's missing. Uh oh. What it all started with. Where's my little dogs? In here, he was a dog. I didn't they, see a dog. Okay. And now, did John Wick start because of a car or a dog? It was his dog. It was a dog. The dog or the car? No, it was the dog. Oh, it was the dog, right? Okay, it was absolutely, absolutely the dog. He no, would have went after them if they just took his car. Well, it really was his wife because that's what made him retire. In the but his place. wife kind of screwed him. <laughs> now he's in all this stuff. All I know, hey, <laughs> we're gonna get a dog. wife flashback. That's all I need. I yeah. need. I get everything I need from this John Wick movie. They have set the table for me. 
okay, I know we've talked about this before with the first John Wick movie, but it's it seriously was one of the, the most brilliant things I've seen done in a movie. Going back to the original John Wick, and I, I want to see that they find a way to continue this on here because you bring up the dog, right? Mm -hmm. There's a dissonance that can happen between the audience and who the antagonist is if the audience can't get, get on board the antagonist. And in John Wick, he just straight up kills a lot of people. <laughs> Some might say overreacts, <laughs> right? So from a story and a narrative point of view, you got to come up with something that gets the audience 100% on board with all the unspeakably horrible things the antagonist is going to do. And they did. I mean, you could do your traditional one. No, they killed my wife and daughter. Okay, yeah, <laughs> but that's been done a million times. I remember sitting in that theater watching that movie. <laughs> and when they killed the puppy. The when, love puppy that his wife gave that him. That his wife gave him and everything. Yeah. When they killed the puppy, yeah, right? That's... I have never felt the emotional gear shift in an audience. There were little old ladies in that was... audience who was like, that fucker's got to no, die. No, 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 no. That, that that there was a huge gap. Die. Everyone's like, <gasps> no, you didn't. Like, uh, it was me, Schnepp, Dennis, you. Yep. I didn't see any trailer. All I, all I know is Dennis said, hey, we're going to go see John Wick at lunch or whatever. It's got 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. I was like, what's John Wick? Let's just go with So I didn't see anything about it, right? And when he killed that when dude who killed, killed the dog, puppy. I stood up. Schnepp had to bring me back to my seat. Like that. <laughs> That's right, mother... Like, yeah, he's like, hey, he should come down. Because I was so happy that that guy died. He went through a lot of people to get that guy, but that guy needed to get got. Yeah, but that's, you know but I mean? that's the narrative <laughs> brilliance of it, right? Because they knew that one thing. And because I'll, I'll tell you this, if Reach. everything about that first Sean Wick was exactly the same, but they didn't get the audience to connect on that level with John Wick and get fully behind his crusade, I don't know it would be nearly as effective. But every time John Wick killed somebody in that movie... There was like everybody in the audience together raise their hand for the dog, <laughs> for the dog. Every time somebody died, oh, for baby. the dog, <laughs> right? Everybody's totally on board with it. So it's going to be interesting to see if they're able to kind of, we're now in, in the, the fourth movie, right? So it's got to be more about, be more than just him running for survival, right? You give, yeah. give us, I hope they find a way to get us emotionally hooked in with him again to go, Every time he kills somebody, you're like, that's right. Like, that's what I want to see. <laughs> you know, it's funny, that movie too, not to belabor the point, but that was a movie that I did not have high expectations for, the first John Wick. And it was a complete, I'd seen the trailer. I'm like, it looks cool. I like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> that that movie was such a surprise. Yeah. yeah. Like, you're halfway into that movie, like when he goes to the the Russian club, you know, the, the and, and by then, I'm by like, the way, it was Big Daddy Diesel. Remember, yeah. it was the doorman. And Diesel like, could have, and even he was like, yeah. "Yes, Mister Wick." Yeah, I mean, and, and then and then Wick is leaving him alone. This is Big Daddy Diesel, right? He's like, he's like, all right. And when Dad, Big Daddy Diesel realizes he's going to let him live, thank you, Mister Wick. <laughs> I got to see that back in the movie. Yeah, I, and you know, when I watch this movie, like when Lance Reddick shows up, you know, and he's he's at the concierge desk at the at the Continental, just the way the way he talks, the way he's every person in this movie it's like i'm watching this movie and every choice they made in the first john wick was just delicious it's like these people know what the f they're doing you, you, you and, know and, uh, and you and, and why and i think to myself why isn't every movie like this like every choice they made in the original film from the cinematography to the action scenes was just perfect and i i remember when the movie was over i'm like god damn that was a full meal i had so much fun watching this movie all movies should be like John Wick. There is kind of a redemption for me in this movie because the way three ended, I felt like backstabbed big time when Shane Black and the the Oh yeah, I always knew that was set up. Oh, I I I was just like, How dare you? <laughs> How dare, <laughs> dare you, sir? You guys are gonna be on that list this movie. <laughs> You're, on the list. You're on that list, so let's Little get Chris him. Jericho coming out. Let's there. get You're these on guys. The list. Yeah, let's get these guys. By the Although way, I, I, I got to point this out too. Somebody else who's pointing out this saying this is probably the best one is Lawrence Fishburne himself. Uh, this comes to us uh, from the folks over at the Hollywood Reporter. 
wrote this. Uh, John Wick Chapter 4 will also once again reunite Keanu Reeves and his The Matrix co-star Lawrence Fishburne, who believes that the upcoming sequel is the best outing so far. Number four, he says, is going to be, honestly, when I read it, I was like, this is the best one. It just <laughs> was, the actor declared. From the way that it opens, there are like three or four really incredible set pieces in the opening of the film that are just like, whoa. There's a, there are new characters, one in particular that's so much fun. Well, actually, three are crazy fun. And yeah, you know, I got to be in it again. I come back from the dead. <laughs> so, he, so he's pretty. So, I mean, high praise coming from it. Everybody's excited about it. Dude, oh. this might be my most eagerly after seeing this trailer. My excitement levels through the roof. Yeah. Same. I love the way he said through crazy. The he added crazy in there. Not yep. just funny. He had, to, he had to add that crazy thing. So we're going to see some stuff. I, I thought we were going to see some, a lot, a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Do you have a chance to see the new John Wick Chapter 4 trailer? I thought it was all kinds of awesome. What did you guys think about? Maybe you didn't think it was all that good. Maybe you're not even a fan of the John Wick franchise. Hey, whatever you think, jump on down to the comments section below and leave your thoughts there.